Hello, this is Josh for Woohoot Productions, and in this tutorial I'm going to be talking about Adobe Premiere um, for editing video. Let's just jump right in. Uh, when you open Premiere, you'll get a window like this. Um, you've got recent projects here if you've uh, opened Premiere before and worked in it. And then you've got your new project and open project buttons. We'll be clicking on new project for this tutorial and you'll get a window like this unless you're in um, a previous version of Premiere. I'm in CS4 which is actually the latest version. Anyway, um, you can click where you uh, browse here to select where you want to save uh, the project files. Um, I have a folder here on my hard drive and then a subfolder called tutorials and I'll just click OK to save it there and we'll give the project a name. I'll call this um, Premiere Tutorial for this video and then click OK. Here we're going to get a list of um, presets depending on what video uh, type of video you're working with will determine which preset you're going to want to use. If you're in uh, editing for uh, the US, you know, for TV or whatever, uh, you're going to want to use NTSC, and PAL is used over in Europe. Um, and then you got HDV here uh, for high definition video. These uh, are probably the main presets you're going to want to use. Uh, the average person is probably going to be using NTSC uh, for standard definition video. Um, okay, so for this tutorial, I'm going to select NTSC DV widescreen, 48 kilohertz for the audio, and then just name the sequence tutorial. Uh, that's just really for for your sake for organizing. Now we're going to get a, um, or now we're going to uh, get into the editing part of this tutorial. So we got a few different windows here. I'll just briefly cover what each of them are. Uh, I want to keep this as quick and concise as I can. This is your project window and this is where all the video, uh, audio, and um, graphics you have will be displayed uh, so that you can bring them down into the timeline and actually edit them. Uh, which brings us to our next tab, um, the timeline, which is where you will um, be editing, uh, chopping up, and and uh, putting all your video uh, to where it needs to be. Over here or wherever it is on your uh, screen is the tools tab. Uh, it may be somewhere else because I have a I've set um, Premiere up uh, to how I like uh, how I like it to work. So it may look a little different on your screen but somewhere will be the tools. Just a couple tools. We got the selection tool and the razor tool, which are really the only tools you'll probably ever use in Premiere, or at least they're the only ones that I ever use. Um, and then we got our effects tab for transitions, effects, anything like that. Um, and you can actually search, say, uh, cross dissolve, uh, the most popular dissolve um, that's used in video editing. Um, and then we got our meters here for our audio levels. Um, pretty obvious what those do. And then up here is our program monitor, which is where our video that we are editing is displayed. You know, so whatever you're playing down here is going to show up here. Um, and you may also have a source monitor. I close it because I don't have a very large workspace here on one monitor and it just takes up room that I don't need to uh, to have. Um, now we're going to go into the project uh, window, right click and say import or file import and then uh, just navigate to where your video is located on your hard drive. Um, I have a sample clip here from a silent film project that I worked on. Just click to import and there we have it. It's um, Premiere is now pointing uh, to that file on your hard drive, um, and it's not actually in Premiere, but uh, Premiere is just looking at that file on your hard drive so that you can edit it 
what we'll do is click and drag it down into the timeline and there we have it we have our video down here uh, down here and it's playing up here when we scrub through um, with the CTI or the current time indicator that's what this blue arrow head is just telling you uh, where you are in your video uh, then we can use a selection tool draw a marquee or just simply uh, select the video and move it around t uh, to wherever you want it at um, pretty easy stuff and then we can go to the cut tool or the razor tool um, the shortcut is C on your keyboard I, that's why I call it the cut tool sometimes and simply click there if you want to cut it there you can move your CTI over and cut there or you can simply um, cut it wherever you want but I prefer to move my CTI over the point that I want to cut just makes it more accurate um, so you can cut up your video and trim it down to um, actually you can click and drag at the end or the beginning of a clip to um, to trim it um, to however you want the video say we're, we just cut a video and then you can click V the letter V on your keyboard to go to the select tool and uh, move the clip around uh, however you want it so those are pretty much the basics in Premiere uh, it's pretty simple uh, you got three video layers here and three audio layers but we'll cover that in another tutorial um, you know and then we also got our uh, typical commands um, you know kind of thing up here um, but we won't really worry about that for now um, so that was the basics of Adobe Premiere I hope you've learned something from this and uh, I will have another part um, in the, this tutorial series where I will cover more features of Premiere like titles for text and you know editing multiple clips um, with multiple layers and just some different things so thank you for watching this was Josh from Woohoot Productions and uh, tune in for the next part to learn some more about Premiere